Welcome back. It's one of the first summer festivals of the season, and we're there live to help kick it off in the 608 this morning. Josh Breider is live in Stoughton this morning for the start of Set and Demai. Josh Breider, look at you, looking great this morning, all dapper in your outfit. Well, we wow. get a spin. Look at, that. look at that. How you feeling, buddy? Look at this, guys. Hey, I'm excited. This is so much fun already here, guys, as we're helping them kick off Set and Demai here this morning. Of course, this is one of the biggest events, if not the biggest event here at Stoughton, and one of the first of the summer festivals, really. So this is a kickoff to some of the best times of the year, and we're giving you just a little bit of a taste of it this morning. First off, we're talking about Rose Mine. This is the show that's going to be happening right here. We're at the fire station in Stoughton. Kim and Bonnie are up early with us this morning. You guys are looking fantastic as well. Kim, you know, we'll start with you. A little bit about Rose Molly. What is Rose Molly and what can we find in this room? So in this room, you'll see a lot of um, wooden pieces that are decorated with painting from different areas of Norway. And we have all the way from beginners to professional. And there are lots and lots of different pieces here, anything from a chair to a sled to um, a lot of a lot of things that you can um, look at, but then again, we have a lot of things that you can buy um, as well. Just pick up and take with you when you um, find it. So a little bit of everything. And Bonnie, you know, tell us a little bit about the history of rose mulling here, especially with Norway. Well, when the pioneers came in Norway, they decorated the inside of their cabins during the dark, long winters that beautified their cabins, lifted their spirits. And when they came here during the Great mi Migration, they brought those skills with them and their special boxes that they made there. And Per Lisney is one of our painters that came to Stoughton. He worked at the Mant Wagon Factory, which is now Stoughton Trailer. He did the detailing on those things. Then he branched into um, plates and furniture throughout the homes in Stoughton, and that became his main livelihood. So there's some rich history here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He brought um, rose mulling to Norway. Wow. I mean, the other way around. The other way around. <laughs> the other way around. But they know that's, that's incredible. And, you know, Kim, tell us a little bit about what people are going to be able to check out here and when this weekend, because this is going to be a big deal here. Yes, definitely. There are um, numerous, numerous different styles of rose mulling that you're going to see here from all of the areas in Norway. And they're going to be able to come and see the um, judged items. We have um, the categories from beginners to professional, like I said before, um, that were judged. And they were judged on Monday and Tuesday. And then there are also some sale items that you can pick up and purchase. But our organization um, has been going for a long time. This sale has been going. This is our 57th year. And uh, this is one of the biggest shows that we have, especially... Um, in, in Stoughton area, and we are always looking for more Rose Mullers to join us. So if anybody's interested, they certainly can contact us. We are the Wisconsin Rose Mulling Association that puts this on. Takes lots and lots of volunteers and a lot of people to help out. All right, well, Kim and Bonnie, thank you so much. Happy said to my. It's going to be a great weekend here again. This is at the fire station here on Main Street and Stoughton. This is just one of the things happening this weekend, coming up a little later. We're going to be talking a little bit about the Vikings games. We have got cream puffs. We have got the Norwegian dancers. It is going to be a big morning here, guys. So stay tuned for more live action in the 608. Looking forward to it, Josh Breider. Live this morning. Thanks, Josh. He looks good. Remember to let Josh know what inspires you in the 608. You can reach out to him on social media or shoot him an email for a chance to be featured.